For Complex Hustle, I'm Kylie Marr. Snap's stellar debut on the New York Stock Exchange last week was, for the most part, a big money win for all parties involved. Even a California high school that had invested $15,000 in Snapchat five years ago now owns shares worth $24 million. Yeah, just wrap your head around that one. But for every winner, there's a loser. I think that's a saying. Shark Tank star Chris Saka may have been the biggest loser in the Snap IPO for a reason that in hindsight seems so minor, yet financially detrimental at the same time. Saka tweeted, I know one person who isn't getting rich in the Snapchat IPO, hint, the guy who didn't reply to this email. In potentially the biggest missed opportunity of the year, Saka realized that he never responded to an email from Snap co-founder Bobby Murphy, who had reached out to him about being involved with the company during its infancy years. In the email, Murphy wrote, We're currently living and working out of a house in the Palisades. I'd love to get your opinion on LA versus the Bay and building out a company especially as it relates to Snapchat now and in the next several months. Saka admits that when the Snap founders initially brought their idea for the app to him, he didn't see the potential. The Snapchat guys came up to me after a talk once, and I said, I'm really flattered, but the pics of your junk, really? So I passed. Later, I told my business partner 10 years younger than I am, and he lost his mind. That probably cost me a billion dollars or two. So what's the lesson here? Don't ever let a really big opportunity pass you by because you didn't really listen. Listen to ideas that other people share with you and don't immediately blow them off. Consider that what you may think is a bad idea because it isn't what you're used to may actually be innovative. Give others a chance because you never know where the next $30 billion idea is going to come from. That's all for now, but for more stories like this, subscribe to us on YouTube. For Complex Hustle, I'm Kylie Marr.